Hi everyone, this is going to be a painting of a terracotta pot. <laughs> I really enjoyed doing the others and I have this one ready. So you can see perhaps that there's that pot and ornament sealer has been sprayed internally. You can see how I've got it set up. This cup was not quite high enough, uh, so I just boosted it up with one of these little mist tint pots from Bunnings. So, there we go. Right, so I'm going to use these paints. Creative Place, Purple Lake, Cobalt Blue, Emerald Green and Cadmium Yellow Hue. So I have them all mixed up ready to go. And they are mixed with Flood Floetrol, approximately equal parts paint to Floetrol. And they have a little bit of water added to them to get to consistency. Now, because with this one, I would like to do, let's straighten up a bit, the swirl technique. So I'm not adding any silicon. And I have my paper cup, which is easily manipulated into a point to pour so you should just see what I've done at the top is I've just put a piece of masking tape I've given it a little flap for easy pickup and after I've finished then I'll pull it off and let this part fill in so that's an idea so let's just see how it goes all right let's uh, get the cup ready So what I put in first is going to come out last. So I would like to trial some blue. I might do two layers perhaps. One layer of blue. Eek. A layer of purple. And off the green. And of the yellow. There isn't as much uh, yellow made up as the other colours. So this will be a slightly smaller amount. But I'm hoping just enough to give it a little bit of brightness. So I will, yep, go again. Purple, just going a bit quicker, sorry guys, purple, uh, what did I do, blue, I'm sure this will be enough, green, and Hello, and we're ready to go. Right. This is what our cup looks like. Let's get straight onto it. I'm doing this left-handed. <laughs> 
Oh, right, I'll do it right. Because I've got you on the right hand side. So the colours are already coming through together beautifully. <laughs> it's not going over this edge yet. Ugh, now I just drooped. There we go. Slowly turn. Oh dear. That is awesome. But look at this. It didn't slow down like the other side. So what I might do for this side is, yes, what can I do, what can I do? Try to scoop up some paint and, oh my gosh, look at that inside the cup amazing all right I wonder that looks incredible this drip off I need to try and scoop it How would we go? Gosh, this is almost like a um, pot that you can choose which side you prefer. Different on both sides. How about that? This card is too big. bit not much to go it's hanging there Did I bump that? That's shocking. Okay, so we have coverage. Some more unfortunate than others, but what do you reckon? That side is absolutely smashing. The colours look stunning and this is the side that it didn't flow down at the same time. So we got a little bit of adjustments on this side.
Right, okay. Give it a tidy up and just run my finger across the bottom. And under the rim a little. There we go. I'm so sorry if that was making you dizzy. Just come back. So I'm still going to torch it just to get some bubbles out. But because there's no silicon, we're not actually going for cells. So pull my glove up. Remove the tape. And that hole filled in beautifully. <coughs> Excuse me. See bubbles clearing away already. That is awesome. I think that yellow really did keep the vibrancy, especially into the green. I think that was great. Absolutely great. That gorgeous contrast with the purple. Completely bumped it. God, what an umpty. Alrighty. So we go. I'll just get you down and give you a closer look. Okay, guys and gals, this strip coming off, off the corner. Those lines are amazing. This is a rather large purple side hmm very wispy very wispy lines there this is the vibrant side that's the kind of thing I was hoping for all over that uh, they must have had a mist misbalance in my pot so it just automatically flowed over one side first oh look at that it's amazing alrighty guys I'll just add a couple of photos and then uh, show you what the finished well the dried pot not finished. The dried pot looks like. Alright, I'll see you soon. Bum, bum, bum. We're back. And it's all dry. And it's been sprayed with White Knight Crystal Clear Acrylic Gloss Varnish. And it looks fabulous. Okay, so I had Barry email me and suggest this White Knight product. It was a Crystal Clear Acrylic Gloss Spray from White Knight. As he does pots as well. And that's what he uses when he finishes them off and felt confident enough in that to pass on the suggestion so it was much appreciated thank you Baza. and that's how it looks let's just have sorry I was spinning that and spinning that sorry I don't want to make you dizzy okay so there's some fine lines 
love that bit just as it goes over the lip too just just continuing continual continuous okay around this was as the swirl technique dropped over the edge so it looks gorgeous all that color and those lines those effects oh yeah check out that effect that's a finger in the paint whoops that's my fault all right so the other thing that I had in mind was uh, these bases focus these bases for the pots so you get the pot let's give you this and sit it in there there's the purple one as well there's a there we go. So that's how it looks. The only problem I have with that is that they don't actually match the pots in particular. And the green, very much not. It had all blended. The purple, you can still see some cells and some varying colours in there. But definitely doesn't match the pot so what do you think guys please, please let me know in the comments and with base with a slight variance or without <laughs> that's what it comes down to all right so a big thank you to everybody thank you to my subscribers thanks for watching thanks for your comments Thanks for keeping me on the ball as much as I can be. And, yeah, thank you so much. And remember, be fabulous. All right, bye.